praying, praying, praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. It's the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm hearing something in my spirit and the Lord is saying I should tell you. There are two people here. God is speaking to you and he's saying restore your prayer life. You were once a person of great prayer but you veered off because of carelessness and God is saying I'm still waiting for you at the place of prayer. I'm still waiting for you. I'm still waiting for you. There are songs you used to sing because you're a man of prayer, a woman of prayer. You've even forgotten them. You don't even know them again. Go back and carry your old notebook. The notebooks that you used to write those songs. Go back again. There are scriptures you used to know because you always use them in the place of prayer. Now you have forgotten them. Go back and carry those old notebooks again and begin to pray. Pray with understanding. Pray for victory. Pray to establish your enthronement. Pray to be a candidate for greater works. Please be seated. Spare me a few more minutes. There is a quickening that is happening to your spirit man. To be quickened means to be made alive. Awake thou that sleepest. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. Hallelujah. I raised that song and I was seeing a woman in my vision. You are the only one out of all your family people who is saved. Your husband is not even saved. And you have two children. Let me tell you, commit yourself to interceding. Don't say God cannot save your husband. You don't know who he is. Amen. God cannot. It's because you don't know who he is. Hallelujah. God can visit your husband visit your children have you not heard the testimonies of people here it doesn't matter what the limitation is one of the ways you build your faith is in the place of prayer but ye beloved it says building up yourselves in your most holy faith praying 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 in the holy ghost let me give you a kind advice never take a step over anything you have not prayed about no matter how sure you are 
even if it is five minutes prayer with understanding one decision that is filtered through the place of prayer can save you 10 years 20 years perhaps a lifetime of misery hallelujah the force of prayer let me give you one more and then we're done for part one there's someone you are watching me from Lagos another person is watching me from Calabar I just saw a mighty impartation that is happening to you for one you're a man and a woman sitting in front of your phone you place something like you are recording and you are following me there is there is light and fire and grace that is resting upon you in the name of Jesus and the Lord is showing me overflow one in Zaria there is someone overflow one in Zaria the power of God is coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's restoring visions the grace for visions overflow one in Zaria the power of God is coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's restoring visions in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let there be a mighty restoration a mighty restoration in the name of Jesus can I tell you something look at me one moment one idea there are many ideas by the grace of God that run this ministry that came in the place of prayer the blueprint for the next season of this ministry came when God moved us to Abuja I told you already it was in the place of prayer that God gave me certain instructions and obeying that instruction if you do not know what to do in your life start by praying in the place of prayer direction comes you confirm that direction with scripture and the witness of the spirit and then obtain grace to walk in keeping with the direction you have received you have found your way out of any situation with prayer comes direction with direction will come confirmation just because you received it in a place of prayer does not mean to execute it because all things must pass through the lens of scripture Satan can also appear as an angel of light and sometimes even in the midst of prayer your mind can speak to you and because of the atmosphere with which you received it from you can think is God until you open it is written you will find out that as zealous and as powerful as that prompting was it was not really God don't be ashamed because you are growing the devil can wait for people in that atmosphere of prayer he will sleep in a lot of things that are not the will of God and you will say yes Lord to everything and then ignore the written word this is what makes your prayer effectual effectual means you submit it to scripture fervent means your heart is involved in it you can pray and come out with error from the place of prayer because you did not exalt the Word of God above whatever you received in the place of prayer it was while Jesus prayed that Satan came and said turn this stone into bread if you were Jesus after fasting for 40 days and hearing that every voice you hear you will assume is the Holy Spirit and you say speak Lord I'm listening and you will turn a stone to bread and rubbish a great ministry that is about to start but Jesus said it is written he never said I prayed he said it is written there are many people who go to pray and in the place of prayer they hear all kinds of things both what God is saying and what flesh is saying and what demons are saying because your ears your capacity to pick signals from the spirit is heightened and the realm of the spirit is a noisy realm there is as it were many voices and none of them is without signification the voice of the Holy Spirit is not the only voice you will hear it takes a lot of training death alignment for you to filter other voices and to learn how God speaks to you and talking about the way God speaks I've done a teaching on the voice of God I want you to look for it online and I hope that we'll have the opportunity to teach again we have a series along the lines of hearing God there are many people who claim to hear God but at the end of it you will find out that the performance that follows what they heard does not birth the glory of God that must be self because your heart also has a voice it says say not in your heart 
That means your heart speaks and demons speak. Satan will not speak to you and say, I am Satan, rise up. No. Satan will tilt towards the area of your passion and your hunger. If you have been fasting, he will say, turn this stone into bread. He will come and fashion the weapon against you based on your need. And sometimes you're lost. Say amen. amen. So we need to pray. But we need to submit our prayer to the word of God. There are many people today, their conviction has been destroyed because of wrong things they had in the place of prayer. They will tell you, I prayed and God told me that in the place of prayer, I saw myself collecting your car. Give me my thing. And they are sincere because that's what they were manipulated to hear. But once you take that towards your will, you will know that the only person who acts like that is Satan. Jesus is never called a thief. It is the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. God will never give you the ministry of stealing, killing, and destruction. Are we together? Yes. Father, I like the job that this man is doing. And even though I do not have it, can you for God's sake, even though this is, person is a church member or is my tribe's person, can you remove the person out of this job and give me? That may look like a, 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 it's a sincere prayer, but it's a foolish one. And God is merciful because before God rates you, he will look at your level of knowledge. Perhaps you have been wrongly mentored to imagine that anything you want, kick whatever is standing in front of it. There are rules to engage. I told you that when you say, let God arise and all his enemies, the people to be scattered are his enemies, not your enemies. His enemy is anybody who perpetually becomes an interruption to the manifestation of his will. And that can include you, even if you are Jonah. You can be a genuine, serious man of God and yet become God's enemy. So before you pray that prayer, the rule of engagement is you must be sure. It says sanctify yourself for after three days, God will reveal himself. Because when 